Hello, today we are going to discuss about Falcon and model. It is very important uh, model which is used to predict the major product in a nucleophilic in a nucleophilic addition reaction to a carbonyl compound having having alpha chiral center. Okay. This is the general mechanism. This is our nucleophile. So this nucleophile can approach this carbonyl compound either through upward or backward. If it is uh, if it is approaching through the upward, what will happen? Nucleophile comes in wedge, wedge, and uh, OH comes dash. If nucleophile approaching below the plane of paper what will happen nucleophile comes below the plane which comes to above the plane okay so these two are related as diastereomer so the this model is used to predict among this which one is the major product so we can, that is the charm of this model we can predict the major product among these two diastereomers that's why it is called diastereo selective asymmetric induction moreover this in this reaction we can have new chiral center that's why it is called one two asymmetric induction and the main thing is that this felkinan model is applicable only your reagent is free from lithium zinc magnesium copper titanium cerium manganese if these reagents are present our selectivity is somewhat different that is called cram kilaid model that we will discuss later now we can go deeply by taking an example so this is our example so this is our carbonyl compound so this is our alpha chiral center having a phenyl substituent this is that is in the plane of paper and the me that is in wedge h in dash so this uh, e chiral center this alpha chiral center is classified accordingly their size so the substituent in this chi chiral center classified into large medium small okay so here we are using a lithium aluminum hydride we know that that is a reducing agent that will furnish H minus ion as a nucleophile so in this uh, in this model the first step is that conversion of the given flying verge into Newman projection that is very important that is very important so in order to convert we are going to take our carbonyl carbon center as a friend carbon and alpha carbon as a back carbon so when we are moving to its Newman projection our carbonyl carbon when we are viewing this portion carbonyl carbon like this and we know that it is that is coplanar with that is carbon carbon so the friend carbon like this and our backward carbon that is our alpha carbon so we know that ph is coplanar with co carbonyl compound so that becomes just back side of carbonyl carbon now we have two substituent at alpha carbon me in wedge h in dash when we when you are you are observing from this side okay so your left hand side possess ma your right hand side possess hydrogen that same reflect in this so left hand side possess ma right hand side possess hydrogen now we want to convert this into felkinan model so the felkinan model says that in your compound the larger group process in alpha carbon should be perpendicular with respect to the carbonyl compound so our alpha carbon having ph h m among this we know that ph is larger group so accordingly ph should be perpendicular with respect to carbonyl compound so our larger group that is perpendicular to carbonyl compound we can have another possibility also when i am rotating this towards uh, left what will happen ph comes this portion it, it is also perpendicular with respect to carbon these two are felkinan model so i am um, repeat in felkinan model we want to convert in such a manner 
larger group possess in alpha carbon should be perpendicular with respect to the carbonyl compound okay so these two are our felkin anode now we want to take um, one of these in such a manner they are attributing that nucleophile approach takes place in such a manner your bond angle between smallest substituent and carbonyl compound should be greater than or equal to 107 so in a, in this situation our alpha carbon having hydrogen that is smallest group so this is our bond angle we know that it is great, greater than or equal to 107 but in this situation that is less than 107 so in order to approach nucleophile the angle between smallest group and carbonyl group should be greater than or equal to 107 that angle is called Bruji dunitz angle okay so this is the preferred confirmation so the nucleophilic attack from less hindered site having Bruji dunitz angle 107 so we have taken this as our uh, our uh, preferred confirmation now what will happen now what will happen this is our reagent lithium aluminum hydrate that will furnish h minus as a nucleophile so accordingly this h minus approach approach to the carbonyl center through the smallest group present in alpha carbon having bond angle 107 okay so this is our nucleophile so what will happen this is our situation so nucleophile attack shift okay so this bond gets shifted so this is the situation there is no change in the back carbon mehph now this is our incoming nucleophile hydrogen bond o minus et now on protonation we'll end up with this structure this is our product but we want to obtain this product in flying wedge that is very important so how can we convert this preferred flying wedge structure so this is our product the main thing is that before converting this into flying wedge we want to analyze our starting material what are the what are the species in the plane of paper okay what are the species uh, in wedge or dash at alpha carbon that should be remember so we want to analyze our starting material this is our starting material we know ph in the alpha carbon in the plano paper et group at the carbonyl carbon in the plano paper and the me group wedge that is above the plano paper h below the plano paper so those things should be reflected in the product also that is mandatory so suppose uh, if you have an objective question so we want to obtain answer in accordingly given options so what are the species present at the plane of paper what are the species present at uh, wedge or dash at the alpha carbon okay so so in order to uh, in order to make that way I want to place pH and ET co planar okay co planar here ET and ME they are not at all co planar so I want to convert they in co planar co planar means we know that in the plano paper they are in the same plane okay they are in the same plane that's why I mentioned co planar okay so in order to so here ET and ME are coplanar so in order to make ET and pH coplanar we want to rotate this back carbon to 120 degree after rotating I can have this structure I, I can have this structure now your ET and pH are coplanar so that means they are in the plane of paper so pH bond bond friend carbon ET they are in the plane of paper now we have four substituent two are in the same side other two are in the same side okay now another procedure is that whatever the species present in the alpha carbon 
we want to retain their stereochemistry in the product also that is very important we know that in the starting material we know that me in wedge h in dash that should be reflected in product me wedge means that they are in the above plane okay so when we are analyzing the group present at alpha carbon the group present at alpha carbon should be retain their stereochemistry in order to retain their stereochemistry we want to observe from that side that is me is wedge so we want to observe the position of me so we are uh, we know that me is here this is our alpha carbon back carbon so me is here so we want to observe this molecule from this side so when we are observing that side that implies th uh, those group present at that position comes wedge i repeat if we are observing where, uh, from where we are observing the group present at that side should be retained in wedge and uh, the group present other side should be retained in dash okay ready so for clarity i wrote in different color ph and et in red so ph et they are in red they are in the plane of paper they are in the plane of paper so ph here et here okay now uh, me that is present in back carbon that is alpha carbon that should be in wedge ready and h present at friend carbon that should be in wedge okay so me in back carbon should be in wedge h in friend carbon in sh uh, should be in wedge why because we are observing from that side then oh in the friend carbon that should be in dash because that is the position opposite to our observation oh in dash h in below the plane uh, back carbon should be in dash dash clear so ph h in the plane of paper black color friend h in dash uh, wedge black color me in wedge blue color oh in the front carbon dash blue color oh in the back carbon in dash so according to felkin and model this is our major product we can have another option also in next option our alpha carbon stereochemistry should be retained the stereochemistry change at our carbonyl carbon only here h in wedge oh in dash h in wedge oh in dash here oh in wedge h in dash stereochemistry just changed this implies our nucleophilic hydrogen wedge that means nucleophile attack takes place in the above plane of paper here nucleophilic hydrogen in dash that means nucleophilic attack takes place below the plane of paper in accordance with the felkin and model this is our major product that means in this given compound the nucleophilic attack is favorable via above the plane of paper okay clear so if you are thinking this is very important please like share and subscribe thank you take care